Have you ever heard of a man who built a billion dollar empire by combining the power of mathematics and common sense? Well, meet Charlie Munger, the brilliant mind behind Berkshire Hathaway, a man who we'll be looking at in today's documentary. We'll take a deep dive into the life and legacy of this remarkable investor, uncovering the secrets behind his success and the lessons he can teach us all. What were the key decisions that shaped Munger's career? How did he turn his partnership with Warren Buffett into one of the most successful ventures in history? And what can we learn from his timeless wisdom that still holds true today? He's such an incredible vibe when you get to know him. Without further ado, let's get started. To understand the man who built Berkshire Hathaway, we must go back to his roots. Charlie Munger was born in 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska. His mother was a stay-at-home mom, while his father was a well-known attorney. Munger had a difficult childhood as his mother suffered from mental health issues, and his family struggled financially during the Great Depression. This was a global economic crisis that affected almost every country. It was a time of economic slump that became evident after significant decline in U.S. stock prices. Despite these challenges, Munger excelled in school and was awarded a scholarship to the University of Michigan. A pivotal phase in Munger's life came as a student at the University of Michigan. Although he majored in mathematics, he also studied various other topics such as philosophy, psychology, and physics. Little did he know that his future career as an investor and businessman would benefit greatly from his interdisciplinary educational approach. After completing his undergraduate degree, Munger attended Harvard Law School, where he was a member of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. Munger's early career was varied, to say the least. He held jobs as a grocery store clerk, a real estate agent, and even served in the American Army during the World War II. After the war, Munger moved back to Omaha and started working for his father as a lawyer. He soon developed an interest in investing and established his own investment company, which he ran in addition to his law firm. While Munger's early career may seem scattered, each experience taught him valuable lessons he would draw upon in future endeavors. And this is what brings us to his philosophy and investment strategies. Because, well, he has developed a distinctive philosophy and investment approach over years of experience, enabling him to rank among the greatest investors of all time. Munger strongly focuses on reason, in-depth research, and independent thought in his investing strategy. He is a proponent of concentrating on a small number of excellent investments and holding them for a very long time. According to Munger, identifying a company with a competitive advantage and sticking it to are the keys to successful investing. One of the key principles of Munger's philosophy is his emphasis on learning from mistakes. Even when it leads to a loss, he thinks every investing decision offers a chance to grow and learn. Munger asserts that the best investors are always looking for ways to enhance their decision-making techniques and who are willing to gain knowledge from their past mistakes. He also strongly supports interdisciplinary thinking. He has researched various topics and applied their findings to his investment strategy, including psychology, economics, and biology. According to Munger, this kind of approach can aid investors in better comprehending complex systems and deciding which investments to make. This led him to different valuable business partnerships and growth as a person. In his early years, Charlie Munger was not afraid to take chances, especially when it came to his investments. He engaged in various business endeavors, from securities to real estate, as we mentioned. Munger was constantly searching for new chances, and his readiness to take calculated risks aided in his success. He never gave up and always tried what he believed in. One of Munger's first business partnerships was with Jack Wheeler. This was in 1962. Wheeler worked as a trader at the Pacific Coast Stock Exchange, a miniature wild west of what was happening back east, with a floor full of the yelling traders and aggressive men trying to make a killing as quickly as they could. He owned the investment firm Wheeler, Cruttenden and Company, which had two specialized posts on the exchange where traders executed instructions from brokers to trade stocks. They worked with Munger on this, renamed the business Wheeler, Munger and & Company, and sold the trading operation. They also worked together to buy and develop real estate in Southern California, which led to significant profits for both. His investment theory was based on the concept of value investing. This has always been the case. He thought investing in high-quality businesses at deep discounts could result in considerable long-term rewards. With this mentality, he invested in businesses, including blue-chip stamps, Wesco Financial, and the Daily Journal Corporation, 
And well, what can you expect from such a strategy? Unsurprisingly, this kind of approach eventually led him to meet Warren Buffett. The two of them first met in 1959 and quickly hit it off. Munger and Buffett shared similar investment philosophies and formed a close business partnership, which would prove to be very successful. While working together, they invested heavily in firms including Gillette, American Express, and Coca-Cola. Moreover, their alliance allowed them to purchase Berkshire Hathaway, which would become one of the most prosperous businesses in history. The company has achieved exceptional success under their direction, evolving from a struggling textile business to a global conglomerate with a market valuation of more than $600 billion. But how did they do it? Value investing. For instance, the business bought Geico, the second largest auto insurance in the US, in 1996. Geico is now one of Berkshire's most successful companies. And in the 1980s, the corporation bought a sizable share in Coca-Cola which has since increased in value by more than 100 times. Nevertheless, it goes beyond merely making wise purchases and investments. The success of Berkshire Hathaway can also be linked to their distinctive business strategy. Unlike most businesses, Berkshire Hathaway works with a focus on sustainable growth and a long-term vision. They're willing to give up short-term profits to have better success in the long run, placing a higher priority on creating long-term value than short-term benefits. Outside investing, do you think this guy has a life? Well, you'll be stunned. Charlie Munger is not just an investor, but also a man with a wide range of personal interests and passions. And in addition to his extraordinary success in business and investing, he is renowned for his generosity and charity donations. Although Munger is renowned for keeping his personal affairs secret, we do know that he has nine children with his late wife Nancy during their almost 60-year marriage. He was then affected by the tragic leukemia death of one of his young children, which inspired him to get involved in cancer support and research. Nevertheless, he is still passionate about history, philosophy, and psychology. He has also been a lifetime learner. He is well recognized for his passion for reading and has named Adam Smith and Benjamin Franklin as some of his greatest influences. In terms of philanthropy, Munger has significantly supported organizations like the University of California, Santa Barbara, and the University of Michigan, where he earned his law degree. He has also generously donated to many organizations that support medical research and is a trustee of the Stanford University Board. Despite being a millionaire, Munger is also renowned for his personal frugality and simple way of living. He said he thinks you should live within your means and invest the remaining. His interests and personal life reflect his intellectual curiosity, philanthropy, and dedication to benefit society outside of the investment sector. But how different is he from Warren Buffett? The two are often mentioned in the same breath as they have worked together closely for several decades. The two guys have a tight friendship and professional connection, but they also have some significant similarities and differences. One thing Munger and Buffett have in common is their attitude to investment. Both are long-term investments holders and value investors seeking out undervalued businesses. Moreover, they both have a high regard for businesses that enjoy moats or long-term competitive advantages. Another similarity is their focus on financial literacy and education. Both men have made a lot of speeches emphasizing the value of reading and lifelong learning in the pursuit of success. However, there are also notable differences between Munger and Buffett. Munger is known for his emphasis on mental models, which are frameworks for understanding the world and making better decisions. He has famously said, I think part of the popularity of Berkshire Hathaway is that we look like people who have found a trick. It's not brilliance, it's just avoiding stupidity. On the other hand, Buffett is known for his Folsky demeanor and ability to distill complex financial concepts into easy to understand language. He has also become known as a philanthropist, having pledged to give away most of his wealth to charitable causes. When it comes to personal style, Munger is renowned for his love of learning, reading and intellectual pursuits. He occasionally uses offensive language and has been known to do so. On the other hand, Buffett is known for his humble, down-to-earth manner and folksy wit. Despite their differences, Munger and Buffett have contributed significantly to the business and financial worlds. Countless people have been motivated by them to adopt a long-term value-based investing strategy, and their collaboration has produced one of the most prosperous companies in history. Well, Charlie Munger is a legendary investor who has been active in the industry for over six decades. 
While he has been compared to many other successful investors, it is also difficult to compare him with anyone else. Munger's investment philosophy and approach are unique, and he has demonstrated an ability to beat the market over the long term consistently. And well, he's not afraid to admit when he's wrong and uses those experiences to inform his decision-making process moving forward. His humility and willingness to learn and grow as an investor have allowed him to adapt to changing market conditions and stay ahead of the curve. But with every wealthy man, there is a lavish lifestyle. Charlie Munger is no exception. Although he lives a frugal life, he knows how to treat himself. I mean, why not? According to records, Munger paid $11 million for a mansion with French Normandy-style architecture in the guard-gated community's oceanfront enclave. This community is known for its 22-acre collection of opulent estates, all conveniently located close to the upscale Rosewood Miramar Beach and Four Seasons Resorts. He still maintains his opulent mansion on one of Pasadena's greatest streets that has long been his principal abode. As for Munger's new sea meadow residence, which neighborhood residents frequently called Mungerville, it includes four bedrooms and five bathrooms distributed across 4,657 square feet of open concept living space on two levels. The building was initially constructed in 1992 and was designed by architect Jacques Sewell. It has now undergone meticulous renovation, adding blonde hardwood flooring, designer light fixtures, and wood-beamed and cathedral ceilings. The home's front door opens into a great double-height entrance gallery with a curving staircase surrounded by a tree-shaded cobblestone motor court and a two-car garage. From there, doors open to an outdoor lounge space centered around a pleasant fire pit and a formal living room with a fireplace. What a way to enjoy life when old! Moreover, a butler's pantry and a windowed, wallpaper dining room with a fireplace lead to a modern gourmet kitchen with high-end stainless appliances and an eat-in island. There is also a family area with glass pocket doors leading outside and even another fireplace. The four bedrooms are located upstairs, including the magnificent master retreat which has a sitting area with a coffee bar, a julep balcony, and a spa-like bath with a big copper-clad soaking tub. Charlie Munger is also well known for his passion for luxury fast cars. One of the vehicles he has been seen driving is his 2017 Cadillac XTS. He has been spotted driving his vehicle throughout the city. When it was first introduced, the full-size luxury sedan 2017 Cadillac XTS had a starting price of about $45,000. It has a powerful and comfortable 3.6-liter V6 engine that generates 304 horsepower, making it a powerful vehicle. It fits for a man of Munger's stature that his 2017 Cadillac XTS is black with a clean, traditional style. He's been spotted driving the car several times, including when attending the annual Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting in Omaha, Nebraska. It's a luxury and comfy vehicle that is ideal for Munger's needs, even though it may not be as flamboyant as some of his previous vehicles. Another one of Munger's cherished treasures is the 1966 Ford Mustang. This iconic American muscle automobile is a representation of the time when it was initially built. Munger is said to have purchased the Mustang in the early 1970s, and it remains in his possession to this day. The car is estimated to be worth around $25,000. Munger also has a 2001 Acura NSX in his collection. Honda produced the sports automobile, the NSX, in the 1990s and early 2000s. The NSX is known for its high performance and reliability, which are both characteristics that Munger values in his investments. His NSX is estimated to be worth around $40,000. Truly, his collection of vehicles is an expression of his style and passion for motor vehicles. Although Munger has always been thrifty, he has also shown willingness to spend money on the things he enjoys. This can be seen in his collection of automobiles. Although Munger's automobiles are valued billions of dollars, they are hardly the most expensive or rarest in existence. Yet they are a representation of his life's works and successes and have great worth to him. And with all the fame, money, and a lavish lifestyle come the haters. When it comes to Charlie Munger and Berkshire Hathaway, critics and conflicts are not unheard of. Although the business has seen tremendous success, it has also come under fire and generated controversy over the years. One of the most serious complaints leveled at Munger and Berkshire Hathaway is their unwillingness to invest in technological firms. While other investors have amassed billions of dollars through their investments in software firms, Berkshire Hathaway has mostly shied away from the field due to a lack of knowledge. Munger himself has famously said, I think I'm just reasonably able to understand and predict the economics of businesses that I can understand. 
We have other people who are better at understanding things like biotech and software. They only invest in what they more understand. Also, Berkshire Hathaway has come under fire for lacking diversity in its leadership and investment portfolio. The company has been criticized for its delayed portfolio diversification and for having few women and people of color in management positions. Despite these criticisms and controversies, Berkshire Hathaway remains one of the most successful investment firms in the world. And well, while being criticized, he always finds something to pick on. Munger is critical of cryptocurrencies, referring to Bitcoin in particular as noxious poison. He argued that cryptocurrencies are below contempt and that Bitcoin is dumb, immoral, and disgusting. He doesn't believe in Bitcoin and even suggested that all cryptocurrencies should all be banned. He might be a wonderful investor, but he might get this one wrong. Let's just say he doesn't understand the technology behind cryptocurrencies and that's why he doesn't invest or like them. Munger also compared individual investments without commission to gambling, saying that Robin Hood's success is due to people who know how to take advantage essentially of the gambling instincts of not only Americans' public, but the worldwide public. But anyway, we all love him. Charlie Munger's impact on the world of investing and business is significant and far-reaching. His philosophy of rationality and emphasis on learning from mistakes has influenced many investors and business leaders. The success of Berkshire Hathaway, which has developed into one of the world's biggest and most profitable firms, has been largely attributed to Munger's relationship with Warren Buffett. The company's investments and acquisitions, especially those in the insurance and consumer goods sectors, have been significantly influenced by Munger. He might be the greatest of all time when it comes to investing. In addition to his skill as an investor, Munger is renowned for his charitable work and has made considerable donations to medical and educational research. He has also been a strong advocate for ethical behavior in business and investing. And despite some criticisms and controversies, Munger's influence on investing and business is undeniable. His philosophy and investment strategy have been widely studied and adopted, and his legacy as a successful investor and philanthropist will continue to inspire future generations. And there you have it, the extraordinary story of Charlie Munger, a man who rose from humble origins to become one of the world's most successful investors and business magnates. Munger has demonstrated throughout his life that perseverance, self-discipline, and a thirst for knowledge are the keys to success. His investment strategies and philosophy have influenced many in the business world and will continue to inspire generations to come. Anyway, do you think following Munger's principles of rationality and investing in good businesses can lead to success, or was it just luck? Comment below and let's engage. That's all. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.